your princess. Start sleeping like one. This is 14 DIY canopies you need to make for your bedroom by Ashley McGetrick. One, use a hula hoop for some dorm room privacy. Also hide from your roommate if necessary. Instructions. Pin perpendicular to the trim and curtain edge. That way, you'll be able to sew right over the pins without having to remove them as you go. Do the same thing with the other curtain panel, this time on the right edge. You'll want the tasseled edges to face each other when they're hung. Thread your sewing machine with your chosen color, then sew down the middle of the pin trim until you reach the bottom. Jump to the next panel after you're done with it. Remove all the hardware from your embroidery hoop, then put the inside hoop aside. Slide the curtains onto the hoop so the good sides are facing out and the tasseled edges meet on the other side. If you slide the tasseled edges on first, the canopy opening will wind up on the opposite side from the hoop closure. That way, when you hang it, you won't see all the hardware. Two, or thread sheer fabric and string lights through two smaller hoops for instant coziness. This section's off your bed without sacrificing your space. Three, check out the high-end style without the price tag. Use a curtain rod and a tablecloth for a cheap Marie Antoinette vibe. We won't tell anyone it's a tablecloth if you don't. Total cost is estimated under 50 bucks. Ladder is not included. Supplies you'll need. Instructions. When hot gluing, make sure they completely dry and wait until the glue strips are sturdy so you can hang them. If you are impatient, they won't be durable enough to hold the weight on the curtain rod. Last step, have fun with this until you achieve the desired swag. Pull as low as you desire. Also, make sure the swag is even all across or it won't look as good. Enjoy. Four, make your room extra cozy with two mini curtain rods and some cheap fabric. A little bit of charm can go a long way. Five, if you don't have any curtain rods lying around, use some copper pipe. Six, you can even hang a canopy just using thumbtacks. No need to be a handyman or a handy lady. Start with some wooden dowels from Hobby Lobby, 29 cents a piece, and some sheer fabric panels from Ikea, two for five bucks. Insert the dowel through the casing. Not too difficult. Thumbtack to the ceiling. Yes, thumbtacked. Pretty easy and I'm pretty sure you'll like it. Update. I wasn't fully loving the canopy until I went to Ikea and added two side panels as well, so it's basically a big rectangle at the head of the bed with curtains coming down. Blurb. Seven, add some string lights to create an extra whimsical effect. Most things in life become more magical by adding string lights. Canopies are certainly no exception. General advice for you. Use odd bits lying around to create a boho eclectic feel. Think fairy lights, different fabrics, rugs, and lanterns. If you have any visible beams or piping, tie swaths of fabric from Lincraft or Spotlight to them and arrange to tumble down around your bed. Think outside the box. Why not try curtain rods screwed to the ceiling to hang fabric off of? Or be different and try tree branches for a natural look. One of the simplest things is to get a hula hoop, cover it in material like ribbon, and then sew your canopy to that. This is really easy to do and pretty simple to mount from the ceiling. More ideas. This is a bedroom with driftwood canopy and drift at the foot of the bed. Rustic elegance. The bohemian style. A canopy day bed. Four poster bed netting. A French style. A vignette style for those open-minded people. Industrial canopy pipe bed frame made with black pipe and key clamp pipe fittings. Love the rough refined juxtapositions between Scandoski Chalet and Lux fabric, rich wood, etc. Perfect neutrals and natural accents for a soothing, gentle bedroom. Featured with Revolve Floor Lamp by Bert Frank romantic bedroom. 
a secret garden bedroom twisted steel and copper bed celebrates all that is wild and magical about nature. Small white bedroom with a canopy bed and quilt textile. The taste of petrol and porcelain, exotic combo, isn't it? Simplicity at its best and a classic white canopy bed. Eight, for some privacy and extra shade, solid curtains are a perfect solution. You're a classy person, you need a classy bed. Supplies, adjustable rod, West Elm industrial pipe curtains, panels, a drill, your favorite fabric, and a ladder to get the drill usable. Nine, use a sturdy branch to create your own shabby chic canopy. Spice up a kid's bedroom or your own. 10. Use a thick pattern fabric to make a canopy that doubles as a headboard, a perfect way to add some patterns to your bedroom. Materials you need. One, fabric. Two, adjustable curtain rods. Three, ceiling mounted. Four, wall mounted. And five, anchors and screws. To give the fabric a finished look, I adorn the edges with a black and gray ribbon border using fabric glue, but feasible tape would work too. To create the canopy effect and hold the draped fabric in place when it's hung, I sewed a channel for the ceiling mounted curtain rod 18 inches from the fabric's edge. Hang the rods. Make sure to position the brackets so that they are a little wider than the width of your canopy to accommodate the bracket hardware. Once the brackets are in place, slide your canopy onto a curtain rod and attach the rod to the ceiling brackets. Next, place the other curtain rod in the wall hardware and drape the length of the fabric behind it. That's it! Isn't it amazing what you can do with a little fabric and two curtain rods? 11. Or drape a sheer fabric to add dimension to a small room. Use white garden hooks to hang the curtain rod from the ceiling. These easily screwed in and kept the rod secure and safe from falling. Make sure that you place one garden hook at each end and then one in the middle to keep it sturdy. The final cost of this project without the flowered mirror was $71, not too shabby. 12. Transform a wooden ladder and some linen fabric into a rustic canopy. Maybe also do some morning pull-ups? Actually, no, definitely do not do that. 13. Some strategically hung tapestry can add a lot of personality. For this project, you'll need a hammer, fabric, and nails. Instructions. Took Moroccan-y colorful blanket as a backboard, hammered it to the top of the wall, and then extended it out over the bed so it creates a little cave. Instead of using a decorative blanket on your bed, why not use it behind or above your bed? And last, 14. And a kitty-sized canopy is just as easy. The little ones need a little luxury too. Step one, take your embroidery hoop. Mine is painted from a previous project. You don't need to paint yours as it will be covered by the fabric. Unscrew and remove the inside circle. To the inside circle, tie ribbon at three equal intervals. This will be used to hang your canopy to the ceiling. Step two, take your outer circle of the embroidery hoop and simply start threading your curtain through the casing designed for the curtain rod. Depending on how bunched up you want the curtains to be, you will need two to four shears. I used two and it looked just right to me. Step three, insert the inner circle inside the outer circle and screw the hook. Before it's tight all the way, make sure to adjust your curtain so it's evenly dispersed around the hoop. Tie the ribbons into one knot at the desired height, making sure the ribbons are equally long. Step four, drill a hole in the ceiling, screw in your ceiling screw hook, and hang your canopy with the ribbon. That's it. Now you or your children can enjoy nice sleep nights or naps, hopefully. If you enjoy what you see, press like or the share button easily seen under this video. Comment on it if you would like to correct or add something new. And subscribe if you want to keep this channel in your love list. And see you again in the near future for more ideas. Thanks for watching. <laughs>